how much do you know about hummus? Well, sure, we all know it's a healthy snack, but did you know it can also reduce, has the risk of reducing cancer and lowering cholesterol and has lots of fiber and protein? Uh, um, well, here's that hummus. Our hummus is not the normal tan color either. It's a vibrant pink color due to the key ingredient, beets. Now see, we also wanted to go for an overall Arab feel, so to speak, like with the packaging, because if you notice here on the packaging, you'll see like these little poppers here. See, we wanted to go for sort of an Arab motif, and what we wanted to do with this is have them represent sort of the tiger, like we were thinking of having like a tiger-based mascot, so to speak, represent hummus, uh, this brand of hummus to sort of get that Arab feel there, you know, but also keep sort of an international feel going. But um, we didn't really go with that idea, but we did sort of keep that there, you know, like those little Arab-esque touches that you could sort of find, you know? Right. And our target market would include adults, usually around age 30 to 50, who enjoy dips and hummus, wealthier income, and eat healthier snacks. Well, we plan to sell to health stores like Global Foods and Trader Joe's because they closely identify with our target markets. Psychologically, we priced our product at $3.99 for uh, a 16-ounce container, and that should keep our target consumers Happy. This is lower than other brands and flavors of hummus that are already on the market. And we also plan to introduce this product during October, which is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Because our product is pink, so it would kind of spark kind of a cheesy um, breast cancer awareness and connect with our healthy target market. Speaking of our target market, we also tested with several um, people around here who would fall under that, specifically teachers, several of whom were familiar with hummus, one of whom was even a fitness teacher, because, you know, going to the whole healthy motif, we would want that kind of opinion. And every, and every teacher we met with um, presented, us, presented us with critical acclaim, and what few criticisms were there, we worked on to improve, so overall we feel that this should satisfy whatever needs you would have regarding your taste in hummus. And so we are currently selling at Global Foods and Chinooks locally, but we would like to sell this product to you, Athenos, in addition, we believe it would be a great addition to your already uh, hummus and snack line, and uh, so what will it take to get started? One of the biggest concerns that I have being in this market and have been in this market for a while is that beet is a flavor that lots of people are scared of or maybe intimidated of. How do you foresee us overcoming that perception from the general public? Um, we thought about that as well, and we thought that if we priced it lower and uh, we kind of put it in with other flavors that were kind of also riskier, um, really? that it would might sell with those other products. And introducing a lot of breast cancer awareness month that might uh, spark some kind of interest to uh, sell during that time. And, you know, pink in general, that does stand out from a lot of the other colors you tend to see in hummus in, you know, the alleged shades of brown and tan and stuff like that. So we think that this could also help it stand out from the markets to get at least people sort of interested in it, you know, sort of, you know, I guess you could say sort of stop what they're doing as they walk by, you know, just to at least glance at it and see if it's something they might want to try. Okay. All right. Good job, guys. Thanks.